All right, just going to thread on here. I'm trying a brand new die actually. It's a it's a cheapo set from guess where Harbour Freight. I thought I'd try it out. It was a very good value set on a coupon, and uh, the die holder on these weird things with an iris type control for grabbing the work. I'm not going to use that. I just want to try and get square get square on the uh, workpiece with the chuck get a bit more lube in there and then put the handle in the spindle and see if we can make a start see where we go so I don't really like this die holder very much. I mean the die is cutting. It's cutting but being a coarse thread it's uh, fairly hard going. And I don't think I need to go all that far. I think that's probably as much as I need. Anyway that'll certainly do for the what we might call the ball end. I just want to make sure that the end thread burr here is not too bad. I'm just going to give that a tiny little touch. Yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four. Basically, I've got four turns there. I think that'll be enough. And we'll turn it round. Oh, I've got to cut it off in a minute. I've actually cut this 3 8 rod just a little bit longer than might be needed. <coughs> Slightly longer than this, um, <coughs> excuse me, a bit longer than this one. I can always shorten it as against lengthen. Uh, I've just faced that off. I'm just making a lead in for the thread. Okay, I think that'll do. I'll just, uh, I'll just take this tool post off again for a minute. That sort of iris gizmo on the uh, die holder I suppose it might be useful particularly if you haven't got a lathe to put something in I'm not going to show all this on the video I just let it I just left it run oh dear let's see oh it's further than I thought we were that's good so we'll just add a little bit more to that. I think like the other end I'll go for about four or five turns, threads I mean, both. <laughs> and uh, that's better. Okay, let's see what we got now. Okay, I like that. I like that and just clean up the just clean up the burr at the end of the thread there. To the scrap box and uh, I think this will do to make a little handle uh, pommel. There you are, there's a word for you, pommel. Let's just face this off. Oh, 
And we'll just break this edge and, uh, and we'll do a drill and uh, tap. There's a bit of the old chatter. Can only get away with so much. Actually got a despite a light cut on that end there's a score mark. Never mind. Let's get uh, drilling. And a quick centre drill. set up for an 8mm. I'm just going to put a 3 8 uh, shallow pocket in there to accept the handle and then we'll go down with the 8mm. Might as well be fairly generous with that. It's giving me a good sixteenth or so and get that out and uh, pop in the eight. Oh, of course, a hand in the way. Right, we're going a good half inch or so. There's no great restriction on depth, I have plenty of space for the tap. Check depth on that and see what uh, see what we've got. Uh, yes, I know. Of course, I've got to do the math on it. <laughs> yeah, I've got to do minus from the inch. So that depth, as the vernier says, is. I'll get my braining gear just short of six hundred. All right. Thought that depth gauge was playing up. And um, I'll just clean up that. I'll put the thread in there. I'll just clean up very slightly. That's only just to clean that edge up. Right, I've actually made a start with that. And I don't have to go in very far, but I think I can just do it all from the chuck if I use the uh, stop the chuck from turning, which it can tend to do. Get that out of the way. Right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, it's turning in the chuck now. That may be bottoming out actually. So it's probably adequate. Definitely all we need, I think. Psst, 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 psst. 
let's just try this handle oh it's so easy to get your hands in the way here yeah that's uh, that just goes into the pocket difficult to see there actually how much uh, I've got to go not very much uh, it's just a smidgen just use the uh, handle on that just to try and take that last little bit under control pop yeah I just wanted to have that under control let's just pop that in there I've got a bit of a little titty there to get rid of if it'll run true enough. Yeah, it's still got a mark on there a little bit despite polishing it up anyway that'll work for the uh, pommel I think that word's fairly suitable so I'm just setting this table up to the 15 and uh, I'm pretty close now to what we want so I'm just checking checking there against the uh, vertical that's certainly close enough give or take a smidgen and uh, we'll get things set up in the vise and get the drilling done I've got this uh, I've got this locked up and what I've done is uh, for simplicity's sake which is close enough I think you might be able to see I'll just zoom in and see if that shows I haven't really got quite the right angle I don't think what I've done is I've used the drill tip on the center of my face off and that will get me pretty close so the first thing is get a center drill in so we've got to get set up here and lock that looks okay I'm just checking from the back end God tell you what some things are so damn awkward sometimes I don't know whether I've actually crept slightly yeah because I'm turning the turntable on a radius that is very very close but not quite there Oh, I'll have to check it again uh, this is a pain in the butt of course that's slight. we're working around the radius of the column so although I centered with that spot there it changes when I come around that short distance so I've uh, just making a small adjustment if I can get I've got a mark mark on here I 
and I'll go with that. <laughs> Let's tighten this down again. Hoping nothing moves. Okay, that's that vice type. Let's check again. Tell if that's moved. Can't tell yet. All right, we'll go with that and. Uh, it's a long time since I've done a fiddle like this. Last time I think I just winged it and did it by eye. This is what Halligan did, which of course is a better way to do it. It's uh I should have to fiddle now to get this changed for the drill. I'm not sure I can get the drill in there properly. I think I can get this here yeah, just, which is good because it keeps me from having to move. I'm just going to make a small pocket there. Yeah, that chatter was. Uh, I was actually feeding a bit, feeding a bit light. And of course, we got the contour change until we get right down. So I've got a pocket now, which is uh, it appears to be deep enough. Let's see if I can get this eight mil in and get this the hell finished. <laughs> All right, let's just try this. All right, let's uh, get a generous depth on here. Seems to be a slight movement on that. I must check it again. I don't know. Uh, it's all right. I just realized this lock on the column may not have been quite tight. Mm, something still isn't right. Uh, well, that slight... That's deep enough. The slight uh, loss of grip on the column, that's gone just a smidgen off centre, which is most annoying. Lack of attention on my part. Um, and the only other thing I forgot, which was pretty silly, I forgot to put the nut on the tool post to check for, <clears throat> for position because uh, I was going to try and make it so that the handle stays out of the way of the other one. Anyway, I'm going to take this uh, off here and uh, get a tap. Well, I'm, I'll start a tap in there actually. No, I'm not going to try power feeding this. I only want to get a couple of turns of start if I can. Just to make life a bit easier. Right. That's slipping in the chuck now, so... Uh, I'll finish it by hand. I'm not sure whether the 3 8 is going to fit in the po pocket quite right because it just went slightly off, which is very frustrating. I say that was really that was really lack of attention on my part.
Right, I think that's nearly enough. Okay, guys, that's as far as I can go. It's um, just this thread, that's all I've got to do when I get the tap. So I think we'll do a video on this and get it out of the way. And I'll just add a real shorty on when I've got that tapped and get the thing in use. Um, as I said, this this went just a smidgen off centre because my column lock wasn't quite tight and that's hand tight in there, it needs to go in another half turn and I think when I get to it it'll go. It's just at the moment just a little bit it's just a little bit uh, reluctant yeah it's got about another half turn to go in which is a bit annoying, but uh, we'll get over it. Once I've finished, I don't think it'll show. Always something doesn't go quite right. Anyway, uh, as I said, I'm going to uh, finish this off now. If I find time to put the video stuff together with all its intricacies and odd hassles. <laughs> and... Uh, just do a final one later. So anyway, if you got this far, thanks for watching.